Good morning, students. As you all know, that elementary school is daily giving some online lectures on different different topics. And today, I am going to discuss a chapter optics of class tenth. First of all, what is optics? The question is, what is optics? So, optics is the study of light and its phenomena. What is optics? Optics is the study of light. and the properties of light so let's write the definition of optics optics is the study of light and its properties now our chapter is light What is light? So, light. What is the definition of light? Light is anything which enables us to see other thing, which enables us to see object. With the help of light, we can see the around world, world around us. With the help of light, we can see many different types of object. So, light is the thing which enables us to, which enables us to see other things. So this is light. Now we will discuss the different different properties of light. So light has two properties. Light exhibits the particle nature as well as wave nature. Then there is many properties of light can be proved with the help of particle nature of light. Many properties of light can be proved with the help of wave theory of light. Now we will discuss in our syllabus. It is given only particle theory of light and the properties which can be proved with the help of particle theory of light. So at first we will know about the particle theory of light. About we will discuss about the particle theory of light. According to the particle theory of light given by Sir Isaac Newton, also known as corpuscular theory of light. Sir Newton says that light is made of tiny particles called corpuscles. This is the particle theory of light. So let us understand what is particle theory of light. Particle theory of light was given by Sir Isaac Newton. It says that the light is made of tiny particles called corpuscles. And with the help of particle theory of light, we can prove many phenomena of light. The phenomena such as reflection, refraction, can be proved with the help of particle nature of light. There are two natures of light. One is particle nature, other is wave nature, which is beyond your syllabus, which is syllabus of class twelve. But I will also discuss something about wave nature of light. So light exhibits both particle nature as well as wave nature. The wave nature of light says that light travels in the form of wave, like sound. You all know that sound travels in the form of waves called sinusoidal waves. Sinus, what are sinusoidal? Now your question is, what are sinusoidal waves? The waves which follow the path of sine x, the waves which follow the path of cos cos x are sinusoidal waves. The wave which is a function of something, the wave which repeats after some intervals, are called sinusoidal wave. So, the according to wave nature of light, light travels in the form of wave. It was given by Sir Christian Huygens. So, it is not in our syllabus. We will discuss in class tenth only the particle nature of light and the properties which can be proved with the help of particle nature of the light. So the first property which is given here in your book is reflection. So let us understand what is reflection of light. So let us see reflection of light. Now let us see in the board. Suppose this is a plane here. 
polished surface. Uh, it's called reflection of light. So, reflection of light basically is a phenomena of uh, what you can say, uh, phenomena of uh, uh, phenomena that when light strikes the polished surface, it gets reflected. This is known as reflection of light. Now, let us understand about few terms. The first term is incident ray. So, suppose this is a mirror and M dash. M M dash is a mirror. A light is incident. A ray which is on incident on a plate mirror is known as incident ray. So here A B is incident ray. Now let us understand the second term which is normal. The normal is the normal to the plane mirror is known as normal ray. So A B is incident ray. This is normal ray. And when light incident on a plane surface, it gets reflected. So this is reflected ray. Incident ray, A B is incident ray. B P dash is normal and P C is reflected ray. So the ray which is incident on plane mirror is known as incident ray. Not only on plane mirror, all type of mirror. The ray which is incident on all type of mirror or all type of polished surface is known as incident ray. The ray which is perpendicular to the polished surface, such as mirror, is known as normal, and the ray which gets reflected are known as reflected ray. BC, BC is reflected ray. Now, we will learn about the laws of reflection. So, there are two laws of reflection. Now, is first law of reflection and second law of reflection. There are two laws of reflection. We will first discuss the first law of reflection. Before discussing first law of reflection, we must know the term angle of incidence and angle of reflection. So, the angle, what is angle of incidence? The angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incident. So here incident ray is AB, the normal is BP dash. So the angle between AB and BP dash is known as angle of incident or incident angle. So the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incident. Suppose this is angle of incidence and this is denoted by small i. Now, now we will learn about angle of reflection. Like angle of incidence and angle of reflection is the angle between reflected ray and normal. So here normal is BB dash, reflected ray is BC. So the angle between BB dash and BC is known as angle of reflection which is denoted by small r. So, the first law of reflection says the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. What? The angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So, you have to know incidence, angle or reflected angle. And it incident ray. Also, ray to mirror to strike. So, incident ray is normal. Asa ray to mirror to perpendicular. This is 
striking on a polished surface, which is known as reflection of light. This is a property which we can prove using the particle theory of light. So, now let's go over. We will discuss reflection after some time. Thank you very much.